Brussels on the 25th of uh, February, uh, the, Europe, the New Zealand government has modified the remit uh, of uh, the New Zealand Central Bank after likes policy conditions led to an unprecedented surge uh, in uh, the housing prices in New Zealand. Also in Germany, we see a strong increase. So for normal housing, in pr the price increase in 2020 was 9.6%. In 94% of all German county councils, also the more remote ones, prices are on the increase. So therefore, we see stronger effects of the helpful and supportive monetary policy conditions which the Euro Eurozone needs, uh, uh, with more stronger effects on the housing market. So therefore, my question to you is, uh, uh, will you consider more strongly more granularity in your monetary policy conditions in order to try to limit the damaging effects of the needed uh, accommodative monetary policy conditions on the housing market. And uh, therefore, it is so interesting what the New Zealand government has decided. And I believe also the European Central Bank should uh, take these warning signs very seriously. Thank you very much for your, um, for your question. Um, it's interesting uh, that you mentioned New Zealand. And, uh, and of course, everybody looks at what New Zealand does because it was the first uh, country and the first central bank to actually uh, implement inflation targeting. So it's, uh, it's always with interest that we see uh, innovation uh, happening in that part of the world. But back to the, um, the, the, the cost of housing. Um, we closely monitor the effectiveness and the appropriateness of all our monetary uh, policy tools, including their side effect. And um, our analysis suggests that the ECB's accommodative monetary policy only contributed to a limited extent to the strong house price growth that we have seen in the recent uh, year. And we also, you know, in, in the assessment that we do of the side effect and the three criteria of proportionality, effectiveness and efficiency, uh, we believe that um, there are beneficial effects of monetary policy on the affordability uh, of, uh, of financing in order for households to acquire um, their house and, and to use their savings together with uh, accessible financing to do so. But let me just add something on the on the issue of housing because it's it's a matter that was raised extensively uh, during the ECB listens uh, of various outreach um, uh, events that took place at the ECB but also at all national central bank levels as as part of our strategy review and the housing cost came back and back again and again uh, as part of the key preoccupations of European. Um, um, compatriots. And as a result of that, uh, we are really looking uh, at the inclusion of owner-occupied housing in the basket of goods and services used to measure inflation. And, and this, we believe, could technically be accomplished without compromising the quality of the HICP and also taking into account that house prices include an asset component. So this is very much work in progress. It has not been definitely approved and agreed uh, by the Government Council, so we're looking at it from a technical point of view, considering the various alternatives in order to incorporate those costs. But it will be also a way to you know, assess uh, the, the, the proper value of um, housing into the, the price measurements that, uh, that is used in order to identify whether or not we reach our inflation aim. Thank you.